Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and the other day somebody had asked me that Saturn is finally going to enter a new nakshatra. So it is very important for us to understand the nakshatra of Purvashada which it is going to enter I think near about November 28th. All right. After being in the nakshatra of Mula since January 26th, 2017. My God. It went into Purvashada, but then again it went into retrogression. Now it is direct and hopefully it will <laughs> not enter Mula again. <laughs> Alright, so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end and watch the transit videos on Jupiter into Anuradha and Mars into, I don't know, which nakshatra. <laughs> <laughs> check that yourself i just made it uh, last two days okay Ju because see why i'm making these transit videos is because these are major transits which are going to happen because mars and ketu are conjunct so they are now separating yes so mars has crossed and jupiter is also going to cross vishaka it has been in vishaka from long 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 time and now it will be nanurad and similarly my god saturn from January 26th, which is the Republic Day of India, I guess, from 2017. Oh my God, it's almost two years. It has been there, retrograde, and my God, that's been a crazy energy. And yes, if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit of Saturn or anything to do with your marriage or your career or affair or health or anything else, then you can please go to my website. To book a reading, you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and oh my god hope he comes <laughs> all right so now what happened was saturn january 26 last year not this year last year entered the most feared dreaded and terrorized nakshatra of all <laughs> yes it is even more feared my god uh, there was a lady in South India who was telling me that uh, there are some places, some villages in South India that if astrologer sees that a person has Mula Nakshatra, which means if the person's moon is in Mula Nakshatra, they do not even consider that horoscope for marriage. Okay, It is also there in some other parts of India, of course, not only South India. But the thing is, I do not know why in the universe is this kind of uh, these these kind of things are uh, go going on I, I don't know why who who in the universe told the people that mula is a terrible nakshatra the only problem with mula is there's a lot of homework which is to be done okay so any planet which is in mula nakshatra needs a lot of attention because it's the nakshatra which clears off the mess but we have to understand that when a planet is in Mula, it means that it is in a messy state. Otherwise, it will not be in Mula. So, you would have realized that the areas which Saturn is ruling in your chart, depending on your ascendant, I am again repeating the houses which Saturn is ruling in your horoscope, depending on your ascendant. So, for example, if you are a Capricorn ascendant, which means in your first house, in your Lagna, you have the number 10, then Saturn is ruling the first house and the second house. Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn and Aquarius for those who are beginners. And Cap Capricorn is number 10 and Aquarius is number 11. Okay. So, just see the houses which Saturn is ruling depending on your ascendant, not where Saturn is placed. Again, I am repeating. Do not see where Saturn is placed in your chart. That is the next step. But, Currently, you see which houses Saturn is ruling, wherever the sign 10 and 11 is falling. You would have realized that around the year 2015, near about that time, 2014-15, there's a lot of hodgepodge which was going on. Yes, 2014-15 I am saying, not 2016, even 16. But from 2015 onwards, you would have noticed that there's a lot of there's a lot of chaos which is going on because bef that time 15 16 it was in the nakshatra of i mean it was in the zodiac sign of scorpio and there was nakshatra like jeshta which shows there's a lot of mess and there's there a lot of things which we try to hide which we try to 
when Saturn is in Jaisthai, this can happen that there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of vulnerabilities which we have inside, but we do not want to listen to them. We are like Saturn is telling, hey, look, 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 you have to do this, but you are like, mm, no, no, I'll not do this now. I'll do it later. But then when it comes to Mula, bang, that's it. You must treat them. All right, there is no option. So you would have felt depending on the houses which Saturn is ruling in your chart. Suppose you are a Leo Lagna or you are a Cancer Lagna. Then Saturn rules which house? Seventh house. Yes, for both of you. Things related to relationships have undergone that kind of a flavor. If Saturn rule your 10th house, then career, second house, family, finances. Okay. Fourth house, education, mother, homeland, these things. Fifth house, children. Sixth house for Leo, as I said, sixth and seventh. It will, uh, it can do things related to workplace also. You would have seen that when Saturn was in Jeshtha in around 2015-16 that time there was a voice inside you which was telling you that look man there's 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 some problem here <laughs> but you were like no 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 there's no problem i can still do it because see the problem with jesta is they try to cover up things okay they try to in uh, as means there's a saying for this which means beating around the bush so when Saturn was in Jesta, we had a tendency to beat around the bush and try to manage things. As in Hindi, they say, jugar lagana. It's something like that. Okay, which means that we know we can't do something, but still we try to do it or we try to show off to others. We try to prove others because Jesta has these traits doing show off or trying to prove to others. They will prove to everybody else that they are best at this except themselves. Because of that, what happens is, when Saturn was in Jeshta, we, we, we would have experienced this feeling that we are actually not doing what we should do, rather than we are just trying to show that we are doing big things. It has happened with me at least, I don't know with others. And then we, when it entered Mula Nakshatra, it's like either you do it <laughs> or you throw it. <laughs> No show off. Mula is like direct to the ground. It's like saying that because see Mula shows uprooting things. But why do you uproot? Have, have you asked this question? When you uproot something, why do you do it? Because that is no longer serving you. That is no longer serving your ultimate purpose in life. That is why you are uprooting that. Or you want to plan something new. You cannot plan something new unless you uproot something which is exists already there, which is already existing. So for that, we uproot it and then we also plan new. Now, you may ask that when we are, when are we doing the uprooting? Well, when Saturn goes direct and especially when it was retrograde in Mula, then that uprooting can happen. And then when it went, went direct again from August in Mula, I am saying, we could have felt that now we have started planting the new roots. Okay. Now you may be thinking that, oh, this video was on Saturn's transit into Purva Shada. Why uh, it's been eight minutes and why am I talking of Jaisthaya and Mula only? Okay. Why not about, Mula, uh, about Purva Shada? Because if you do not understand the energy from where it is coming, you will not understand where you are going. Okay. So now when Saturn was in Mula from so long, and then last year it went back retrograde into Jeshta again. My God, that's such a chaos. 2017 has been a year of ride, at least for me, I don't know for others. So now what has happened is it is the last month is remaining around 40, 40 days. October, uh, November 28th, it is going to enter Purvashara. So now when it is going to, uh, now it is going to enter the fourth Pada of Mula or it has already entered, I guess. So now we will finally be able to understand our limitations. Now is the time, depending on the houses which Saturn is ruling, we will understand where we lie and what are the things that we have lied. L-I-E. <laughs> yes, enough of the lies, enough of the... Suppose Saturn is your 10th lord, then it could have happened that you were lying to yourself oh i can be a good doctor or i'll be a good it engineer or i'll be a good astrologer but then when saturn went into mula it will force you to see the truth because mula nakshatra is 
the galactic center of the universe from which higher vibrational frequencies descend all right in a layman's term you can say like that for for the general public of course so that means that it is the it is a very powerful nakshatra for spirituality now because of that what happens is there is lot of ground work see spirituality doesn't come out of the blue okay there's lot of homework there's lot of ground work there's lot of background work which is required to do to be done then in that area so now we have built the foundation now we have built the roots in mula because now it is no longer going to be retrograde and i hope it doesn't enter mula again i hope <laughs> okay so now when the roots have been planted now is the time that saturn enters purva ashada all right and then of course it will enter uttara ashada later we'll make that video later so now when saturn enters purva ashada you will see that purva ashada has uh, things related to declaration all right just like dhanishtha has dhanishtha is the declaration of celebration that yes i i'm celebrating now beating the drums yes and purva ashada has connotations related to declaring wars okay purva ashada starts it's like saying now i am going to start so as soon as saturn enters purva ashada depending on the houses which saturn is ruling you will see that people suppose uh, suppose somebody is uh, having saturn ruling their uh, fifth house suppose okay so they will declare that i want to have a baby something like this will happen or if saturn is the seventh lord they will declare i want to get married or i don't want to get married something of that sort will happen if saturn is the tenth lord they will declare that look i have seen where i lie tenth house's career right what you do in life the impact which you have you will see that they will tell you they will call you and tell or you will call others and tell they hey that's it i am doing this now declarations will happen you will you will you will see that because saturn is the natural significator of the uh, it, it is the natural 10th lord yes and it is the uh, karaka for the 6th house 8th house and 12th house these three houses these three other dusthana so wherever saturn is sitting and wherever saturn is transiting you will get the feeling of the dusthana houses there should i repeat no it's enough my god so wherever saturn is transiting you will feel that those houses are feeling as if they have become like dusthanas for me so suppose saturn is transiting your fourth house if the sign sagittarius is following your fourth house you will feel that there is lot of energy which is going there and you are like not getting results sometimes okay so that of course that will happen for uh, whichever uh, that will depend on the ascendant where saturn is transiting okay Dep wherever the sign sagittarius is falling but at the end of the day we have to realize that now we will realize our limits because saturn itself is also the planet of limits it also shows us limitations so now we have seen our limitations and if saturn is ruling some prominent houses especially for an aries ascendant i would say because for you saturn rules the 10th house yes and also for taurus it is ruling the 10th house for these two ascendants my humble request is if you think that you cannot do something in life in one area think doesn't mean you just think but if you have actually realized that you do not lie in this sphere of job or of workplace please don't stay there or now you will only declare that i am going out of this okay and trust me that is very good for you suppose saturn is your seventh lord then leo and cancer you will feel that i am now declaring either i am getting married or i cannot stay in this relationship i am breaking from, uh, from free from this relationship or it can also happen that you go uh, back with somebody else that can also happen if saturn is your second lord then something to do with family that will happen you will you will make declarations you will see you will start seeing this this effect somewhere from december because november and saturn will just enter purva ashada okay so and if you have already declared that i am doing this or i am doing that depending on the houses which saturn is ruling i am again and again and again saying just see the lordships depending on your ascendant wherever the sign 10 11 is falling okay if you have already made declarations 
now is the time that you stick to it now is the time that you remain committed mula nakshatra is not the nakshatra of committed mula nakshatra is the nakshatra of building roots but what happens after once you build the roots you need to stay committed right if you are not staying committed what's the use of building roots you will keep have you seen people they are building and throwing building throwing again again and again they are doing the same uh, things repeatedly it's not of much use okay so sagittarius is a very divine sign it is the original ninth house it is the bhagya sthan all right it's the house of god so purvashada nakshatra is the nakshatra where we find faith where there is divinity all the divine qualities of sagittarius is found in this nakshatra because in this nakshatra we try to get rid of sinful activities okay we try to do that in mula also but in mula there are lot of challenges which we are dealing but when we enter purva ashada it's like we have understood that we have to purify ourselves because it is also the nakshatra of purification but because it has to do with apa yes water that is also a part of this nakshatra so what does water do water cleanses us from our dirty habits right from our dirt in the body so symbolically it also means that we will now be able to cleanse ourselves of the impurities which we have had when especially saturn was in the karmic sign of scorpio in nakshatras like just oh my god it's the uh, poisonous end of the scorpion can you imagine this nakshatra oh such a difficult nakshatra just okay and ultimately saturn is the karma karaka yes it is the significator of the dashamsa chart as we know it is the karak for the d10 chart about which uh, i will discuss later of course but even then whichever house saturn is ruling irrespective of that saturn is the natural significator of discipline and commitment and struggles okay so whichever area of life you have been working now is the time that you stay committed and you get hope regarding those houses okay and especially for capricorn and aquarius ascendants oh my god congratulations <laughs> i can understand what it means for for these two ascendants because they are your lagna lord is transiting in the in in the nakshatra mula and then it went to jeshtha again direct again it entered purvashada again went back oh my god 2017 and 18 probably or perhaps in my opinion will go down in history as one of the most or uh, two of the most craziest years 2018 is almost over and hopefully let us pray that it doesn't enter mula again <laughs> okay so if it has done some uh, what they say na surgery mula does surgery okay many plan people many big surgeons have mula nakshatra very prominent so you would have realized that the houses which saturn is ruling there is severe surgery going on regarding those houses all right and thank god the surgery is now over not yet the fourth pada is still there <laughs> one more month of the difficulty is still there 40 days so hold on and after october november 28th it is going to go into purvashada and then we realize our limits and then we try to work within our boundaries because saturn is boundaries okay and as i already said in the last two, uh, last video that jupiter was transiting in this divine nakshatra of vishakha and then, and then before that it was in swati it's like oh i can do this i can do that and then saturn was in mula mula is like no throw this out oh my god that is why i'm saying again and again 2017 and 18 or perhaps the that part from july 2017 to july 2018 this year within these two years i think probably have, will go down as the craziest 12 months in many 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 years to come by okay so there you go if you want to know how this transit of saturn will affect you personally depending on your chart and depending on the existing planets in your horoscope then you can go to my website to book a reading you will find the link to the website in the description section of this video below and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what saturn will do when it enters purvashada okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and hopefully you find him <laughs> no no don't worry now you will surely find him okay because he has shown you the path 
when he was in Mula and now Purvashata is there to guide you. Okay, until next time, wish you good luck. Bye bye. See you.